Well, good Thursday evening, everybody. We are here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and we're excited. Why are we excited? Because we're going to be eating here at Captain George's Seafood Buffet, and we are starving. This is a first for us, actually. We have driven by this place many times. Um, we just kind of always wrote it off as too expensive, and it is that, but um, to be honest with you, we've got um, our uh, YouTube friends in Virginia have done two reviews at two locations up there. Then our son came to Myrtle Beach earlier this year and he ate here. And just to be honest, it's kind of getting to us a little bit that everybody's eating here but uh, besides us. So we are going tonight for the first time to try Captain George's Seafood Buffet. Now, uh, we're he I'm here for the crab legs. I don't know about you. I'm here I to try so, a lot of stuff and crab legs. I'm yeah, going to crab legs. They got a lot of variety tonight. So we're excited. Beautiful building. I love the color of that building behind. Mm -hmm. That's actually my favorite color is aqua. So um, anyway. We just got into town and we actually, we didn't even know we were coming down for sure. This is kind of just a quick last minute trip to come down here and uh, check uh, the property that my mom has here. But we just decided we're gonna uh, take the plunge tonight and go to Captain George's. This is gonna be a cheap trip otherwise. We figure we're gonna eat like saltine crackers the rest of the time. Uh, or cheese crackers, yeah, I should say. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna splurge tonight a little bit and try out Captain George's, so we're excited. So let's do this. You ready? Here's the outside of the building. It's a uh, very pretty color. It's, it's nice and lit up and it's a very nice building. Uh, we've always thought it was a pretty building. We've just never been inside of it, but tonight's the night. So I think they also have locations in um, Williamsburg, Virginia, uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia, or maybe it's Norfolk. I was thinking Virginia Beach and also Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. I don't know if there's any others, but I know of those four. So this is the Myrtle Beach, South Carolina location. All right, so if I can talk loud over Billy Joel here, um, right here, you go to the left if you've got a party of five or more, and they want you to use the right door if you've got a party of four or more, or parties of four or less, I should say, yeah. Four or less, that's correct. All right, so in we go, and it looks really nice. Yes, it's smelling good. The minute you open that door, you start smelling the, the fish, so. Okay, so right here in the front as you come in, they got all kinds of t-shirts. They got a lot of different rooms. Sun deck right here. And the food bar here is the shape of a ship. That's pretty neat looking right there. I like that. It's very big in here, very big place. As we go down through the salad bar here, it looks like they got shrimp. Well, it's what kind of stuff here? Bunch of cheese biscuits, nice cuppies. So we got sauteed mushrooms right here. We got the rice, hard greens and pork, rolled salmon. Blackened mahi, royal chicken. I'll just be honest with you, I love chicken, but I ain't here tonight for chicken. That's fried chicken. I'm not gonna take up good stomach space on chicken tonight. Fried fish, fried oysters, scallops, fried shrimp, devil crab. Sirloin steak, pulled pork, brisket, ribs, pork sausage, and jambalaya. For here, some more sections. We've got macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes. Green beans, brown gravy, french fries, stuffed mushrooms. Yeah, 
like mussels, steamed shrimp, crab legs. There's your butter. Uh, got crawfish. We got a Norfolk special, whatever that is. And yeah, it looks like that might be the Cajun crab legs there. It says seafood boil, okay. The clams, baked crab imperial, and oyster Rockefeller with bacon. So down here is the apple cobbler, the bread pudding, peach cobbler, banana pudding, rice pudding, chocolate pudding. Let's walk on around and see what else they got. Flan, cheesecake, love a good cheesecake, mixed fruit, tiramisu, assorted cookies, strawberry donuts. Pumpkin pie and key lime cake. I am glad to see that. Hope they bring out another one of those. German chocolate. Carrot. Reese. Strawberry shortcake. And baklava. Alright. Shauna says not eaten all day. And I haven't eaten in a long time. So gotta go ahead and go back in here to the seat we're gonna start eating and we'll show you the food when we get it and we are seated I don't know the name of our room but we're seated right here I'm sorry no it's okay he just now brought our drink okay all right so we're gonna get started okay so the server just came out and asked us if we want any sauce or ketchup or Old Bay so we told him we want some Old Bay so what you got there you're fixing the I'm still working on my salad, so. Yeah, I said I'm not. I'm going for the good stuff. So I got fried well, salad scallops. Is good stuff. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Stuffed mushrooms, um, Norfolk special, and then I'm, I'm crab, curious what that is. Crab imperial. That Norfolk special. I'm I'm curious. I don't know, but it tastes really good. I think you'll like it. What is it? Though? I think that was shrimp. a scallop shrimp. Oh, um, yeah, whatever's all in there would be good. Okay. Thank you. So they brought out the Old Bay, it's in like a pizza shaker. I the still, fried I, scallops are good, so okay. far. What, I'm curious about the stuffed mushrooms too. Debating if I want to get one of those. Right now I'm eating sauteed mushrooms. And a salad. Those are really good, so it's got some type of like sweet dressing and then it's got like um cheese on top of it it's really would good. i like it i think you would you're okay. welcome to try a bottom line and see if you want a whole one well i mean i can get a whole one but just no way yet i haven't tasted any in okay. okay so i just went up to the bar to start eating and they're out of several things i hope they're bringing more stuff out they're out of the fried shrimp so I'll tell you what i got we got some of that jambalaya um i'm gonna try something here um that i don't usually do and that's a fried oyster well, I got one. Okay, how'd you like yours? It is alright. Uh, so we're gonna. I don't know the last time I've ever eaten a fried oyster. Now, I'm not making any promises about facial expressions here, but here goes a fried oyster. I don't think he's loving it. I don't. I don't see what y'all get out of that. I mean, they're better than the smoked ones at the park grill in Pedro. I'll, I'll give you that. They're better than that. But uh, So let's try the fried fish and see how it is. Yeah, they need to replenish the bar a little bit. Some of this stuff out there, there's like three or four trays up there. They're totally empty. Fried fish is really good. So what's this stuff? She crab soup. I like crab, like stuff like that. So. Right. Black and mahi. Is it good? Got really a good flavor, but every time, this is the third time I've had black and mahi, it's dry. Oh. Black and grouper seems to retain moisture better. Hmm. What are those, hush puppies? I got a hush puppy, or two hush puppies, yeah. <clears throat> Try this jambalaya really quick. It's an onion. Man. 
No. It's not bad. It's not. Yeah. All right. I see him doing stuff with trays up there, and I've finished go mine. Right so here I go. go right here. So they did bring out some fresh stuff. They did get the fried shrimp out there, so I did get that. They had the sirloin steak. I got I some of that. Your fried shrimp to decide yep. if I want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you didn't get me. Did no, you? I've already eaten some. I'm go ahead. Just it. Yeah. Um, the broiled salmon. I got me another stuffed mushroom. This is oyster Rockefeller. I've never had that before. And then I got a mussel. I think that's what that is. Blackened mussel. <laughs> so I'm trying different things just to see how it's gonna. Sea crab soup. Not a very strong crab flavor to it. It had kind of a sweet taste in my opinion. Yeah. We're trying to try a lot of different things now. Mm -hmm. I did try a little piece of the sirloin steak, nothing great there. Oh, you did I, try it? I didn't see it when I yeah, went up a minute ago. You got one up there. I know, well, I'm sure it's my oh, first yeah. time around. Um, but I'm not really here for steak or chicken tonight. I am here for seafood. So far, the seafood stuff's been good. And the crab legs, that's what I'm getting ready yeah. to get into. I did not see the Cajun crab legs on, on the bar. Did you see the um, seafood, um, whatever, you know, where they got the corn, the potato, and all that stuff? Seafood broil, yes. Yeah, I saw that over there. Um, but they said I can ask the server and then I'll tell them that I want Cajun crab legs and they'll bring some out. So. Oh, okay. All right, we'll get it. That's what I'm going to Now, I told Shaughnessy on the way down here that for the video, she was going to try a crawfish and she forgot to pick her one up. But I saw it and I remembered, so. It's fishy. I don't even know what part you eat. I would say the tail. Okay. I want to get a good up close to this now. I've got one too, by the way. <clears throat> You want here? You want some of the spicy? I got some of the spicy butter. You want to dip it in that? What, how do you even get it? Ooh, it's bleeding. It is not bleeding. It's like a there's, shrimp. There's nothing in it besides just. Well, just put the whole thing in there and chomp on it. Okay, right here. There you go. <laughs> huh? Did you say you want five more? No. Okay. All right, crawfish. That's without the butter. Not that bad. That is a spicy butter. They had regular butter and margarine. I got, I got the spicy. I can see anything else, dude. No. <laughs> All right, so. This is the, the Norfolk special here. I don't even know what all that is. Uh, it's a That's pretty good. I got a sweet, like a sweet taste to it. Okay, so I'll try the shrimp now. A little bit of Old Bay in that. Pretty good. I brought you a little cracker. Yeah, I forgot to get one of those. I think I like the regular butter with just Old Bay in it better than the spicy. I'm gonna Is that get some the cactus of butter? <laughs> I guess so. I got Ray Diller and I put some Old Bay in mine. Um, yeah, I'll try to get one of these in your Yeah, I like that better. Right. Shrimp's good. So what you got? What you working on there now? Um, they had clam casino. I don't know what that is, but I got that. Um, that bush and rock that was really good. It's got like, a lot of cheese and flavor. And then I got one thing of um, crab legs to start off. Just got back. Hang on. I ordered some Cajun crab legs. They had to put in a special order since they weren't out on the bar. So we're going to put some Old Bay in that regular butter. Stir that around a little bit now. I've got some uh, crab, what are you call Crab claw crushers at home that are a lot better quality. These are like what you should do with the walnuts. And yeah, they're not that stout. So, um, let me have one of this one, though. You can have one of them. I don't like 
Cheesecake, the key lime pie or key lime cake, cake yeah. and then the strawberry cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything looked really good. I did try one of they had cookies. They had a little chocolate chip cookie I found the way back over here. Neither here nor there. Uh, could have saved the calories. But that tiramisu and that cheesecake, excellent. And you ask her, I, I love crab legs. Um, I buy them in the store when they go on sale. And I always freeze them up to the time I drop them in the pot of water and I cook them seven minutes. That's about right. I had one complaint, it ain't about the taste, it tastes good. It's the fact that some of them, instead of breaking when you do this, they just bend. That was most of yeah. mine. They were like, yeah, yeah. And that's, we should eat. That makes them go hard. So that one did good. Yeah. There you go. See, when they, when they break like they're supposed to, you can pull it right out. When they don't, they want to crush and bend and all that stuff. Then it's a little bit of a tedious process to get the meat. Separated from the shell. Mm -hmm. okay. Folks, I usually do not do this. I promise you I don't. Um, but there's just so many choices. That, um, I mainly was wanting to try the key lime cake. I don't know if I've ever had a key lime cake, and I am a fan of key lime pie. Anything key lime, I love it. So they got a key lime cake. I got to try that. I, I love cheesecake. I don't ever pass up cheesecake anywhere or banana pudding. So those are the three I was going to get. Then you told me I need to try the peach cobbler. Yeah, I thought it was really good. And the strawberry shortcake. I used to take her lead, but I heard that was really good. So uh, you're going to may have to help me with this. <laughs> I had two grams of stuff myself. I couldn't. You like it? Sorry. I like it. I thought it's okay. You want it? No. If, if I was going to have to give up one, it would be that one. Probably. All right. Well, yeah, I didn't try the banana pudding, so you have to tell me how that it is. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try a bite of everything so we can cut this off. So while he's taking a bite of that there, um, I did go back up and try the, the Reese cake, and that was like really good. It was chocolate cake, peanut butter, chocolate icing. It was good. Cheese cake's good. I've never had a cheesecake that wasn't good. <laughs> um, so stra we're trying a strawberry shortcake. Yeah. <laughs> it's a strawberry shortcake. Now, this is kind of the one I was really wanting to try. That's the key lime. So let's just see how this is. Get that recipe. I really just put it by my mouth. I didn't try it yet. That's really good. It's that's got a really good key lime flavor. See what you think of that. That is good. Yeah, that's really that's good. That's good. It's like a sweet and kind of I like that because tart. I like key lime pie and I love key lime pie. Okay, that's good. So, so, yeah. so far, all the desserts are good. Oh, the peach thing's okay, but. Key lime is really good. Yeah, that really good. Good. 
Where to start? I don't think we've eaten at a buffet in how long? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of what I was going to say. Folks, we don't do buffets anymore at our age. In fact, I don't know if we've ever done a review at one. I know we did a family style restaurant here last uh, two weeks ago. If we if we have a buffet in all of our videos, I don't remember which one it is. Because uh, we just we used to do them a lot. Yeah, when the boys were yeah. little and they used to eat a lot, that was like perfect. But now, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's kind of like when you do a buffet, you always feel like you got to get your money's worth. Try and, everything. And that's me. And <laughs> just I just don't handle that so well anymore. But anyway, we did tonight. Captain George's Seafood Buffet, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You go ahead. I'll start. Um, so, the, the decor of the building, the outside is beautiful. You walk in, it's very nice. Um, the buffets are actually um, <coughs> sail ships, sailboats, whatever. I mean, they even got the mast and everything on them. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Not sailboats, but yeah. Whatever they are, but really neat. Oh, look, I have a little tear on my head with that fountain. But, um, so anyway. Sorry, there's always a very immature person that never grew up. Yeah. So, so anyway, um, I wanted to try a little bit, I don't want to say of everything, but of a lot of things, especially things that I don't normally don't eat or wouldn't want to just order a plate of. Um, so I'm glad I did that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm about to fall over. Oh, uh, we'll support. just lean on each other. <laughs> so anyway, um, everything was good. I think the only thing that I really just, that I got that I really didn't care for was the clam casino or casino clam. I don't remember what it was. Did not really care for that. They had a lot of food. Um, Kate said I didn't eat a lot of vegetables. I wanted to try more seafood and meat and so forth. But um, I ate vegetables. I did at the very end after all my dessert because I was feeling so what's the word? Icky from just eating just butter and fried stuff. I did get some um, melon, some cantaloupe and some honeydew melon. <laughs> so that makes up for it. <laughs> but everything was super good. Um, the oyster Rockefeller would probably be my favorite. I've never had that before. The stuffed mushrooms were excellent. Um, as far as the dessert, the key lime cake was really good. Sweet tart. Um, tiramisu was really good. Cherry cheesecake was really good. I had a good meal. I'm very full. Would you do it again? <laughs> Everything was good enough to do it again, but it's not next week. Not next week, and it's just so much, <laughs> you yeah. know, to eat. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm glad I did it. Yeah. Thank um, you. Well, are you done? I thought he was gonna give a rundown of the crab legs and. The... Well, the crab legs were good, but like he said, when we were eating them, they were soft. <laughs> you couldn't just like crack them straight open. You know, every once in a while you get one that would do that, but yeah. they were kind of soft shelled. I guess you could kind of say. Yeah. And I didn't care for the crawl daddy or whatever that thing was. Ugh. Yeah, I told her on the way down here when I saw that was on the menu, I said, you got to um, try one of those for the video. Mm -hmm. And I did too. So to me, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. It wasn't anything. I I'd... think it's looking at it <laughs> and then eating it. You know yeah. what they look like. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just a freshwater lobster. Yeah. Let's yeah. look at it that way. Yeah, so yeah, we're stuffed, honestly, because when you pay that much, and it is... Forty-nine ninety-five a person. Now, I, I will agree with the other reviews uh, that I watched on this place. Is it worth that? If you're coming for the crab legs, or you can make it up on the dessert, yeah. Uh, I mean, they got a lot of great dessert options, and they got the crab legs. If you're coming for the crab legs, yeah, you're, you're gonna you can get your money's worth. Because it's all you can eat. If you're not, you need to be aware they do have a menu you can order off of. If you're not coming for crab legs, I would suggest that because there is a lot of food, but I don't know if you're going to get your money's worth without the crab legs or not. Uh, and that's not something we would do often. Uh, they're closing. Th yeah, they're closing, I guess. <laughs> um, that's not something we would do often, but, you know, like I told her, this is just a, a quick two-night uh, trip down here to check the property. We're not going to be doing our usual shopping and our usual eating out every day we're going to probably be eating light the rest of the week i mean we'll we'll try to do another review somewhere but it's not going to be anything like this no. pretty much all of our budget this week went to this place yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah i love crab legs i'm a crab leg person I, our food line up above the house 
runs a sale on them sometimes. I always try to get some. I had the greatest feeling the other week. I had bought, probably two months ago, I bought two bags of them because they were on sale and I made up one when I got home, stuck the other one outside in the uh, carport freezer. Forgot about them. So I went out there the other day, opened the freezer door and I saw them and that was just the greatest feeling to know I had those still. You did a Shaughnessy. Uh -huh. You did a Shaughnessy. What's a Shaughnessy? I hide candy. I buy candy and sweet stuff, and then I'll hide it in the pantry, and it's like from me. Or <laughs> no, it's not. And it's like months later, I'll be digging around, and be like, oh, I have candy yeah. to eat. <laughs> yeah, so I was tickled to death that I still had that bag of crab legs, so I made those up. That's been a couple of weeks ago. Um, I will say tonight that they, um, I guess, I, I'm, you have to compare it. This is the only one we've ever been to, so I don't have another one to compare it to except mm -hmm. the videos I've watched and. Uh, I watched um, VA Fun Seekers have gone to the one in Williamsburg. I, I think it's Virginia Beach. I think that's what they said. And I, I just, I guess to compare it to what I saw in those videos, this one here, I think maybe had a few less options. Uh, they did not have soft shell crab tonight. I asked the server, he said they, they didn't have it. I think I saw that on the video in both of those other ones. Um, just a couple of things. The Cobia was another one I was looking at. I, was trying to find I like Cobia. That. I've had black and cobia. Now, did they have the mahi on theirs? They did have the mahi on oh. theirs. Yeah, they most of it was the same. But I felt like maybe this one did not have quite as many things out there. So, you know, I, I would have tried the cobia because I like cobia. Good. Didn't get to. The crab legs, uh, they didn't have the Cajun crab legs on the bar, but uh, I mentioned it to the server. And he brought me out, and I'm not kidding. I thought he'd bring me out a clump or two to see how I like them. <laughs> That was like, it took me 30 minutes to eat them. That, they brought me out like a plate stacked high of them things. Yeah. And um, I didn't know if I was going to get to try any of the regular ones off the bar, but I did. And uh, then tried the, well, you saw the desserts. <laughs> um, I mean, the desserts were all good. The key lime cake was probably my favorite dessert. That was like a sweet tart. Like yeah. really sweet, but still had that tartness. It was yeah, good. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, the, did not care really for the peach um, cobbler. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Um, but anyway, and I like peach things a lot, so I think you thought I'd like that. Yeah, but I, don't know. I thought it was good. But the crab legs were good. Those Cajun crab legs were amazing. So yeah, glad we tried it. Me too. Glad we got getting to do a, a video here. Uh, so I would just say, if you're going to pay this kind of money, this is not something that we, I mean, in our budget can do often, but once in a while we'll splurge and do something like this. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I'm glad we tried it. I just saw those other videos and our son come here. He liked it, so I said, we, we, we got to go at least once. Yeah, so we were pretty excited yeah. about it. And then I hadn't eaten today. We were trying to figure out where we were going to go tonight. And he was like, why don't we just go there? Yeah, we was going to initially go here tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, so I said, and I hadn't eaten, so I was like, it's Yeah, fine. so it's like I'll Thursday night, maybe tonight. they won't be as crowded. Yeah. And really, they weren't that mm -hmm. bad crowded. But yeah. anyway, that's our review of Captain George's. Would I do it again? Yeah, but it ain't going to be soon. That's <laughs> just... Right now, food. I don't even know if I'll eat tomorrow. <laughs> That's just, yeah. We'll probably wake up and be like, I'm starving. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about that. But anyway, we're going to, we're tired. It's, I guess it's nine. Um, uh, they're shutting the fountain off. Uh, so. 8.51. 8.51. All right, so we're going to head on uh, up to our, pro uh, not our property, my mom's property now. And um, let the food slowly digest yeah. so we can feel better. All right, so we'll. Uh, be doing something again tomorrow, I'm sure. But anyway, thank thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you like this? I, my, my mind's gone, folks. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And find and follow us on Facebook. Uh, have a blessed day.